I just received the new and improved Kamado Joe Jotisserie Basket Kit. They heard your feedback. Stick around if you want to know the key features and if it's worth purchasing. Hey team, we've unboxed this Jotisserie Basket Kit. It comes in three pieces here. We've got the spit rods, the base, we've got the flat basket, we've got the tumbler, and here in a moment I'll bring you in and show you all the highlights of each of these things. But the main thing I want to show you is you're probably wondering what's the upgrade? Well, a year ago they made a basket just like this, but the entire uh, base and also the basket was this black material where it was chipping. And they heard your feedback and made the entire base and basket and tumbler stainless steel, which makes maintenance and cleaning so much easier. So thank you, Kamado Joe. Uh, and love that you're continuing to innovate. So that's the main feature and upgrade and it makes it also a lot easier to visibly see. So let's bring you in, show you all the details, briefly how you put it together and then I'll bring you over to the Big Joe. We'll show you how they spin and I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you'd like me to cook. All right, let's talk about a few different features. Um, I first want to acknowledge that this uh, basket fits the classic Big Joe and also any kettle that's 22 inches but specifically the kettle joe so man that is a great update with the rollout of the kettle joe to be able to have this accessory and actually have an accessory for the kettle joe that works which is incredible so um a major um, update there which i love and they give you different spit rods uh, that are going to fit specifically um, in those different models um, but what you're going to find here is the you're going to notice there's no um, one spit rod that goes all the way through on this base which is a great uh, feature in my opinion it's not blocking food whenever you're using a basket uh, like other models and uh, that are out there so that makes it really nice so depending on what you're using classic big joe or kettle joe you just put the right rod on there and it comes with uh, two different hex screws uh, on actually four, two here, two here, and you just put it in there and screw it in and you're locked tight. And then there's screws on the outside of this base that you take out, you put the bar in and you screw it back in. That's how quick and easy it was to assemble uh, the base of this um, basket rod. So now that you know how this works and uh, what models it comes with, let's talk about the first one that it, um, when I unboxed it, this one was already together. So what we're going to do is uh, show you how you put this uh, on the rod. So again, you're going to notice on this flat basket, it's got um, one, two, three different uh, tiers and levels for you to get your metal flat casing close to your protein. So you could uh, actually cook a spatchcock chicken uh, on here if it's the right size, um, a ribeye steak, uh, fish, vegetables, and you can really get these metal flat uh, bars, grill grates, really close to the protein, which is really nice feature. Right now it's on the outer edge, so it shows uh, more of how uh, thick that is right there. And so all you got to do, it's got a clamp right here on the back and then two little uh little cutouts that just really um, fit perfectly right here on this side of the rod there and then all you got to do is lift this hatch uh, and latch right there and my friends you've got your flat basket ready to go for your protein and whenever you're cooking your protein and you're prepping it, uh, it'd probably be great to put this on a cutting board, uh, open uh, this up, and all you gotta do is unscrew the outside of each of these, and this comes out uh, so that you can, um, and uh, excuse me, you don't have to unscrew anything. You just literally squeeze and there you go. It opens up just like that. So you leave one base in there and then literally you squeeze. It goes right in. You can lower it to any level you want. So let's go to the third level to show you what that looks like. There we go. Now we're on the, 
the very bottom level on the top and the very third one on the bottom. So you can really mess around with what this looks like. So all you're doing is squeezing. You don't actually have to unscrew anything. So that was my, uh, my bad there. So let me show you, take this off and then show you how uh, the basket works. All right, friends, the same thing with the basket. Literally, you're gonna squeeze these metal bars and then you've got the three levels, uh, how close you wanna get the basket to each side and it just clips in. Right now, we've got it on the, the highest on both ends to show you the max capacity of this basket. Um, the first thing I can think of that I definitely wanna do because I love cooking chicken wings, so I'm definitely gonna be cooking some chicken wings. So all you gotta do, same thing, bring you over. Apologize. There we go. There we go. And then bring you over here. Lift your latch. Make sure it's in the lock position. There we go. And my friends, we've got the rotisserie basket, stainless steel, ready to go. And now you've got three levels to get this basket closer to your protein or whatever you're cooking on this one as well and it goes onto the rod and it's just that simple for both of these, easy to store. Um, you take these off and you can uh, literally just store the super easy watch I like. So now I'm gonna take you to the Big Joe, which is what I have and show you how we spin these guys and get your uh, final thoughts on what you think of this. Put them in the comments so far, what you're thinking of this new and improved Jotisserie basket. And now I'll bring you over to the Big Joe. All right, friends, so let's show you how this rod goes on there. What I like to do uh, is take this off, put it on like this, slides right on, put it on that way, push power, friends. We've got our first Jotisserie basket, new and improved stainless steel. I can see myself doing chicken wings on this, uh, homemade french fries, so much. Put in the comments what protein you would like to see on here or even the flat basket. But you can see if you're concerned about will this unhook, it won't because first it's super tight on this bar and then also the latch is super secure you make sure that it's in the lock position. The only way that comes off is if you mishandled the latch. Otherwise, you are in good position. You're not concerned about anything coming undone. So, super easy. And then we'll just take that right off. The flat basket. Let's go. There you have it. You've seen how to put together the Jotisserie basket kit, the updated version. You've seen how we spin it, put it together. It fits the Big Joe Classic and even the Kettle Joe. Let's talk price point. So far, they've got it priced at $1.99. Now, in my opinion, that definitely feels steep, especially I think the Jotisserie is $3.99. Uh, but overall, it's stainless steel. That's a great upgrade a lot better maintenance and cleaning and also your more visibility and i like the features of being able to clamp down on these things and have three tiers you get closer to the protein depending on what you're cooking so overall i really like um, the features of this uh, and look forward to what we can cook on. So let me know in the comments, what proteins would you wanna see as we consider doing a series in the future? Let me know what you thought of your first impressions of the updated version. And again, from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time.